Hi, today is July 9th, and this lesson is going to cover on how to get started using Trade Ideas Pro. A lot of the information from this lesson comes to us from helping individuals as they're just getting started with the application. So let's get going. Today we're looking at charts via the Medvet Quote Tracker application, which is available to TD Ameritrade and many other brokerage customers, and Trade Ideas. Notice I have one trade ideas window called bullish stocks under 20 moving up fast. For people who just started and downloaded our application, you may see two windows, one called bull watcher and one called bear watcher. Notice that as information comes in, I'm not receiving any data. The symbol field is covered up by the asterisk. What is going on? You may want to take a look at your trade ideas console window. Here it's in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Notice that it says I am connected as demo. Demo is just a way for you to be able to get comfortable with the user interface. You can see all the things that are available and you can access the menus and see what's going on but you're not going to be able to see any of the symbols until you actually log in with your username and password. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You go to File and then press Login. Instead of Demo, put in the username and password that you created. And Please remember that both the username and the password are case sensitive. So now I'm going to log in. Now notice that my Trade Ideas console window says connected as D Merkin, which is my username. When a new uh, alert comes across, you will instead of seeing the, the asterisk, you will see the actual stock symbol. And let's see, again, we'll just wait and see what happens. Since the market's not doing too much, no new information has just come in just yet. I can change that very quickly by right clicking and selecting a different window, which is also part of this lesson. If you want to modify the window that you're looking at, start with the configuration menu. That's the easiest way to get started. There's a pre-configured strategies folder. I'm going to expand it by pressing the plus. Now I'm going to select the high-low ticker. I can do this either by double clicking or by clicking it once and pressing the load settings button and hitting OK. And now very quickly I'm seeing data come through. If I want to eliminate some of the exchanges I can again go to configure and modify this so that I'm only looking let's say at NYSE stocks. Notice how when you change something and you immediately finish at the window name because the system is saying since you changed your settings you may want to modify the name so I'm going to change this to high low ticker NYSE and now only NYSE stocks will be available in this window and this is what it looks like there's a lot of different things that you can do to get more value out of trade ideas. One of the most common questions and the first FAQ is I'm receiving too much data. This usually happens after you've successfully logged in and are able to get the program going. So here's a way to show you of how to decrease the amount of data that comes through the window so the information is more manageable and so that, that it's easier to follow. Here's how you do that. You do this by using the filters and again this is accessed via the configure menu. I right click and I select configure and now I'm going to go to the window specific filters. These are filters that apply to everything in the window and now I'm going to make this more manageable. I'm going to say I only want to see highs and lows for stocks between five dollars but no more than fifty. I want to make sure that at the time of the alert the spread, which is the difference between the bid price and the ask price, is no more than five cents because I may want to pull the trigger on a trade if a trade looks good to me on the uh, charts. 
now then I'm gonna scroll down and now I'm gonna help myself by making the picks even more quality by adding an average daily volume filter that's the minimum daily volume it's a 30-day average and I'm gonna say this stock has to trade at least a million shares now I'm gonna hit OK and again notice how it's taking me to the window name so I'm gonna say NYSE filtered and I'm gonna say OK and watch the flow of the information it's gonna be a lot more slower and easier to manage. The next thing to do is to be able to evaluate all of this information on a chart and I will also show you how to do this fairly quickly. You can go to tools on your console and say external linking. This brings up the external linking window which allows you to link trade ideas to many other applications and in this case I'm going to link it to the charting program Medved Quote Tracker. Now when I double click on a symbol, all of the charts are updated very quickly and you can see this is making a new high and this is making a new low just like in the alert. This allows you to evaluate this information as it's coming in and if need be make a trade decision very quickly. Remember that you don't need to know all the definitions of the alerts and filters to get started with trade ideas. When you press the configuration menu by right clicking there's a bevy of strategies that are available in the pre-configured strategies folder. Again these strategies are all there to help you get started by showing you not only strategies that are ready for different types of trading styles but also how we set them up, which alerts and filters we used, so that if you needed to modify these strategies to your liking, you could simply do so by changing either the alerts or filters. And let me show you how to do this real quick. In this short traders paradise, which is meant for more advanced traders, I'm going to press the load settings button and hit OK. Now I'm going to be seeing stocks that are coming down, and again, these stocks are designed for you know aggressive short traders so I'm gonna modify this by pressing configure and filtering this to meet more of my style and I'm gonna do this like this I can either right click on one of the filters and I'm gonna say okay I can change this to anything that I want so max up from the close is negative 50 cents that means the stock must be down more than 50 cents for this to come through. I'm going to change this to a dollar. Okay, so now I've modified this window and again I'm going to change the name to down more than one so that I know what I did and I'm going to hit OK. And now again OEH comes through because it meets that criteria and anything that comes through this uh, window at this point will be down at least one dollar or more for the day. So this is a good a lesson on how to get started using trade ideas. Remember that if you want to you can have as many windows as you need and this is also easily done by just right clicking and selecting the duplicate window folder which will create a copy of the window. And if you would like to see this window, the down version of this window, but instantly to the upside that's also easy to do by configure and pressing the flip button which is one of our most popular features which just basically inverts the strategy completely and now shows you the same type of moves but I'm going to remove this but to the upside now everything is going to be up at least a dollar for the day so this concludes the lesson on how to get started getting results out of trade ideas.